the number four tight end of all time, Mike Ditka. He has artificial hips where he doesn't even need a cane. He's larger than life. Mike Ditka, obviously we all know him as the duck coach and rightfully so. See that? That's your IQ, buddy. Zero. But I think a lot of people forget that he was actually like a stud tight end in the league. If you watch old highlights of Ditka, it's awesome. He's just this like beast of a man. He was essentially Gronk before Gronk. He looks like an axe murderer. Have you seen a picture of the man when he was a player? He has a crew cut. Guys still wear a crew cut. That's how tough he was. He won a Super Bowl as a coach, but even more accolades as a player. Mike Ditka was a better player than he was a coach. History may re remember Mike Ditka as being a Super Bowl winning coach, but one that really left a few titles on the table. He was consistently good as a tight end, and his numbers speak for themselves, and he's in the Hall of Fame as a tight end. Attitude, uh, determination, and certainly physical talent. He never quit. His 12-year career took him from the Bears to the Eagles to the Cowboys. Ditka's last catch in football was a touchdown in the Super Bowl against me. When I got back to the sideline, Shula was just screaming at me. Ditka, Ditka beat you. When Iron Mike played, he was mean and nasty in a mean and nasty era. If they would come after his knees, he would go after their knees. If they hit him in the head, he hit them in the head. Iron Mike. I don't know if there's anybody ever tougher than him. Toughness. Plain old toughness. Hard to bring down, bouncing off tacklers. Mike Ditka's hard-nosed approach earned him the number four spot on our list. Kick the other team's ass. So that's what it was. There is a personality that fits the Chicago Bears. Strength rather than finesse. Mike fits the bill perfectly. I just think the Bears, going back to the days I played, they stood for something. It was a toughness. Iron Mike was blue collar, just like Chicago. Take your lunch bucket to work, put in eight hours, come home. They stood for what this city stands for, a toughness. I played the game for a long time. When it came time to play, nobody played any harder than I did. It hits Mike Ditka for eight yards. Ditka puts Chicago in scoring position. And he was disciplined, he was hard-nosed, and you had to watch him for 60 minutes because he'd take your head off. Intimidating. They were terrified of him. I'm insane, you know, they knew that. And he was a phenomenal blocker. Mike Ditka, if you watch film, when Gale Sayers is running with the ball, Ditka's still running downfield with him. We enlist the aid of some movie magic to point up Mike Ditka's path-paving block. With the final obstacle obliterated, Sayers strides out to a touchdown. He blocked like a made man. I like that in him because I knew that I can depend on Mike. In the ultimate tight end, when you wanted a blocker and a catcher who would strike some fear in the defense, there's never been anybody like Mike Ditka. He put up some numbers that no tight end had even approached to that point. In his first season, he had over a thousand yards receiving, which was unheard of for a tight end at that time. Billy Wade finds his great rookie Mike Ditko open. Iron Mike completes a 36-yard TD strike. His rookie season is probably the greatest rookie tight end season in NFL history. He was born to be a bear. In fact, when you look at him real close, he looks like a bear. Look at the eyes. I don't think you'd want to look face to face with that guy out in the wilderness. Those who watch Ditka play have a hard time believing we ranked him as only the fourth best. Do you agree with that? Absolutely not. Ditka invented the position. I'd have Ditka one. Frankly, we were too scared to ask Ditka what he thought of the ranking. You didn't want to mess with Mike Ditka back in the day, and you still don't. 